What's up my little pretties? It's your mistress the Shawline is here and today we are going to review another Teen Titans episode. Now this episode today we're reviewing is the fourth episode of season four but it is also known as episode 43 of the entire series. Today in this episode we're going to review is called Cyborg the Barbarian. Oh boy! <laughs> we're talking about this this episode takes place well 5,000 years ago. And why is that the case? Well, let's jump right into the review, shall we? Now, basically what happens in this episode is Cyborg upgrades um, the power power tech or something like that, you know, the power tech of Titan's Tower to make him more better. But however, Cyborg suddenly gets zapped from Titan's Tower and he ends up being in a place that takes place like 5,000 years ago. Yeah. I think this was that during the time after the dinosaurs. So wow, <laughs> it's roller coaster this episode. It's like a roller coaster. It goes up and down, and there's like so much going on that you can't even describe. You know, okay, I'm confused. You might be confused on why Cyborg gets zapped this time, but I honestly have no idea. It could have been maybe after he upgraded Titan's tower. That could be possibly of what's happened. But anyways, this episode I found it to be interesting. But confusing at the same time, but at the same time, it's really good. Now, basically, you see Cyborg, and he basically realizes that, you know, he's, um, he's, like, way back before his time, like, 5,000 5, years ago. So, what happens in this time is that Cyborg, uh, remember, sees all what's going on, and basically, uh, what he finds out is that there's people fighting these slime monsters so cyborg decides to try not to not to interfere because he's afraid you know that could take a turn for the worse but then he finds one of the tribe people in trouble so he jumps in and he immediately saves them saves whoever it is but however though after he does that he realizes that there is this one um person who is walking and and takes off her mask and he finds out that it's the tribe leader Saracen. So, Cyborg, get, like, starts liking her because she was, like, very nice and all that. But first, um, since this is taken, like, you know, 500 years ago, this was way back before technology was built. And, you know, Cyborg has no place to recharge his batteries. And, you know, he's like, well, crap, what am I going to do? So, basically, he tries to recharge himself with a portable battery charger or something that he brought, but it wasn't working. So what happens is he wants to leave, but at the same time, Sarah Sim convinces him to stay for a bit. So she takes him to around his vill her village to show him around. But however, though, Crowl gets jealous of that. You know, he gets very, very jealous that Cyborg is welcomed there with open arms and that. And, you know, he gets very, very jealous of Cyborg. So he basically tries to do something. Basically, what he's trying to do is he's trying to, like, throw Cyborg out so he gets the attention. But it doesn't work, and somehow he wakes up a, the witch from a curse, and then he gets turned into a slime monster. And that results into Cyborg and around with Sarah Sim and, his, and her tribe to, to defeat him. However, Raven pulls Cyborg out of the out of that timeline with her powers and Cyborg's like, oh, I want to go back. Please take me back because she's in trouble and stuff. So Cyborg gets very, you know, upset with himself for being brought into it. And he basically, you know, feels bad thinking that, you know, Sarah Sim's not going to make it. However, this is the ending. Raven brings out a book and it shows that they finally kill Kral. So basically Sarah Sim and her tribe kill Kral, the slime beast, and they, um, one. So that's basically pretty much um the episode. Cyborg and the Barbarian. Now, what did I think about this episode? I actually found this episode to be very good, but it is confusing. Like, I mean, it's just confusing at the beginning. Like, first of all, you know, Cyborg's in a world where, modern world where, you know, there's technology, humans and stuff like that now, now, like now, but then he gets transferred back to like 500 years later. Like, well, 5,000 years later, like, confusing, eh? And it's like a roller coaster, so 
basically, you know, Cyborg gets confused with the modern timeline. The timeline that he was in with Sarah Sim and her tribe, he had basically had to get used to it. Basically, there was, like, no technology or computers or anything like that. So, like, this is taken back, like, way back. I think it's after the dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. So, probably around BC years ago, like, with the caveman or something. I think that's when it was taking place. I honestly thought that this movie was actually really good. Now, is there anything negative to have to say? Uh, it's a little... One thing I could say, it's a little confusing... Well, not all the whole episode's confusing, but it is confusing, confusing at first. But for a, but after all, this episode is a really fun episode. I love the concept itself to be really good, especially that Cyborg is back, you know, way back 5,000 years ago, like before technology and all that was made. So that's honestly something I could definitely say is that I love that the episode takes way place way back. I like the fact that the storyline line makes it more sense but it is confusing at first but it gets better as it progresses as the episode progresses so i like the storyline of how the episode went out i like the i like the animation and the, i like the how the episode played out now the voice acting as usual was good i like the sarah sim character but sadly enough this is the only episode she appears but, like, if they ever make season six, maybe they'll um, have her, you know, maybe they'll have her as a guest star or something. Which I'm hoping maybe they do that. If they ever make season six of Teen Titans, I'm hoping they can do that. I'm hoping they could bring her back, but that's kind of far-fetched. But it's hard to say. Because, you know, I'm hoping that, you know, uh, that Sarah Sim comes back maybe for a Teen Titans, regular Teen Titans movie. Or maybe probably in another episode. Like, maybe... In another episode of season six. But anyway, that's kind of hard to say. Because, you know, that's basically 500 years ago. So, who knows? She might still be alive at the time. She might not be alive. But it's hard to say. Say, because, you know, it's pretty it's pretty interesting to come to think of it. Now, like I'm going to say right now, everyone. This is simply my own personal opinion. If you disagree with me, that's fine too. Um... If you like this episode, that's fine. If you don't like it, I respect your opinion. My final brand of this episode would have to be a 9 out of 10. It's a really good episode. It's a great concept. I like the acting. I like the characters. I like everything about it. It's just really good. Now, sorry about that, that everyone. My uh, mom just called me, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, like I was going to say, this episode is really good. It is confusing at first, but it's actually understandable as the episode progresses, which I could really say that this episode is really good. Now, anyways, what did you all think about this episode of Teen Titans? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Also, what do you have done personally to help make this story a lot better? Leave me now what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. I'm the Shadow Linus. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you're brand new here to this channel... Be sure you like, comment, subscribe because I'll make brand new videos every single day. Uh, don't forget to ring the notification bell for updates when I upload. And like always, I will be over and out and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.